Good day, everybody. It's Max, and welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program, Destiny, where we're going for all the achievements across the year of 2022. And in this particular case, this episode, we are going in to finish the mall. And of course, once the mall is done, we're then going to set up the resources required to get up the red and blue science so as we can move on. Let's get to it. All right, so that was a pretty intense first episode. You bet. We got that we got that achievement though. We got to a planet within 1 hour. We cut a little close at 57 minutes, but we got there no problem. And then of course, uh, to end that episode off, we put in the basics smelter system. Uh, this is the smelting system that handles just your mall in general. And of course, we've started the mall uh, with, of course, the few basic pieces of just getting the gears in that you need for your mall. And then of course, we've got the power poles and more smelters and of course, them all precious belts. Uh, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to set up a few things here and uh, to get in the rest of them all. And uh, so when we come back, we'll have the outline as we hook it in all together. Okay, so we got the first mall expansion now in. Uh, let's now get it all hooked up. Uh, so we're going to need to hook in. Uh, looks like I'm going to need <laughs> I'm going to need more some more inserters and things. Uh, good thing we're about to automate those, let me tell you. Uh, so we're going to pull in. Uh, we have three machines here, two doing motors, one doing turbo motors, um, or they call it turbines. Uh, but in this particular case, we're going to now pull in for the motors first. Uh, so we need the nice, wonderful metal back here. Uh, we need some nice gears up from the front. And of course, we also need some of these coils, and that's going to take care of that. Uh, and since we have to do that again, let's just do that right here now. And we'll grab some metal from the back. Now, uh, this guy here, he wants motors and coils. Well, that's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward there, I guess. Uh, he can have um, some motors, and he can have coils. Now. Um, it's it's a share and share alike environment okay so we're all about that sharing sharing is caring right that's what we're all about here uh, now in this case what we want to do here is do mark two belt uh, mark two belt only requires one mark belt and motors uh, so I believe yes it does uh, so in this case we can now just say hey can we have some of them mark one belt over here sure Let's just do that. And that's what's going to happen there. Now, we're going to take that Mark II belt uh, and we're going to just shove it over this way. Um, now, in this particular case, what is this machine going to do? Well, this machine uh, we'll come back to in a second because down here we have Mark I um, inserters, well, or basically, uh, what do they call them? Sorters, I think, right? Um, yeah, they call them sorters, uh, and they have Mark II sorters. Uh, now, we also need Mark III sorters, and that's what we got here. So in this particular case, we already have the Mark I's hooked in. Uh, they are good to go. Uh, I, I, I have a box here for them. I don't know if I'll use the box, but I'll hook it in for now, and then I'll, I'll kind of cut it back. Uh, I'll probably only keep like a stack around just to kind of until the Mark II's and III's get up and running. And then we'll probably hold off on that. Now, the Mark II's, of course, uh, require Mark I sorters and the motors, right? So we have the Mark I's coming in from this machine. We have the motors coming in from this machine. And that is going to allow them to make Mark II's, which we will now shove up in this box up here. Now, Mark III's, of course, want the Mark II's and the green motors. So in this particular case, um, we're going to take these green motors and bring them up here. Uh, because it turns out these guys also want the green motors, right? So they're going to share the, this box off a little bit. And, of course, then we're going to allow that box to go in two directions. One to the right, which, of course, is going to make our Mark II belts. And one to the left, of course, is going to make our Mark III sorters. And, uh, of course, we want the Mark III sorters to go this way. Okay, so in this case, uh, we're also going to allow them Mark III sorters uh, to come back this way. And... Uh, 
Uh, I usually set the filter on this to be, do, 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 where is my sorters? Yep, mark three sorters. This one here, we're gonna set the filter to mark two sorters. Uh, and of course, the reason is, is that um, we're gonna, this box here is a little tricky because it's gonna be handling a dual function, right? It's gonna be handling the Mark II's coming in and the Mark III, and then going back out and then Mark III's coming in. So this box is always a little tricky to kind of plan out, uh, but shouldn't be too much of a hassle, right? Uh, if everything goes right. Uh, and of course, now we've got the, uh, we've got this uh, here set up as well. So now we can actually put in the power source for all this to do, 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 and this should all just start taking right off. Uh, actually, very exciting. Uh, okay, uh, let's move it to the back. Uh, of course, I have sorters now right down the middle, right? So I gotta pick one side or the other. Uh, let's, we'll go with the back. All right, so. Um, I'm actually going to do that, and then I'll do that. Okay, so that's going to start bringing everybody up to speed. And, of course, uh, as you can see, we already have stuff popping into boxes. I'm going to scale these way back, of course, because, obviously, um, I'm not going to want a lot of, a lot of these uh, older type marks of sorters and inserters, right? So, as you can see here, we're getting Mark three sorters, so the twos are coming across, they're getting put in, they're being taken, and then just being taken right back into Mark three. So we're actually just gonna cut that back to that for a bit. Here, of course, everybody is sharing is caring, right? So <laughs> it's, uh, I actually usually leave this box pretty wide open so as it can get lots of extra motors going on in there. Uh, so someone's gonna obviously steal, steal that, uh, but you need, you, you're actually going the wrong way, mister. Uh, I need to fix you. Let's take you out there for a second. And this is going to be another one of them uh, um, situations where we're going to borrow space. Uh, so we're going to do that. So you can have motors too. Uh, now, this is the other one that's going to borrow space, right? So, of course, we're going to leave this one a little more open for now. And we're going to take this and have it bring it back this way. And, of course, we're going to set the filter on that to be the Mark IIs and set the filter on this to be the Mark I so as we don't get a lot of confusion going back and forth here it knows what it has to pull in over this way and it knows what it has to pull out going that way and of course now we have lots of belt coming in and all the things now I'm gonna let this build up a little bit and then we're gonna make the turn right about here so this is now where we uh, take this and we actually uh, swing up Go up this way like so, and then we come along the back side. Now, when we do the back side, uh, of course, um, it's going to have our more advanced items, if you want to think of it that way, things like oil processing and all the all the cool stuff up there. Um, so, with that, we're gonna let these uh, we're gonna let these fill up a little bit because, of course. The, one thing about a mall is we the, the lines aren't made to be um, efficient. They're just made for providing resources. So if I put too many machines down on these lines all at one time, literally all of these machines will take all the resources. The back end will never get anything anyway. So we want this front half to just do a thing for now and we'll let it stock up a little bit then we'll go ahead and, and fill in the backside. So I'll bring it back once I have the template down for the backside. Okay, so with the uh, now back half of the mall prepped, uh, this is actually a good time to bring everyone back to discuss a couple of options. Uh, first of all, you'll wonder why there's this machine out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and that is because later on, uh, and though this won't happen right away, this will happen later, we'll be adding a third layer to the mall, and this will be the sandwich layer. Now this layer runs down the center of the two strips that are currently here, uh, and it will handle uh, some, some of the more um, advanced components, like Mark III belts. Uh, so, of course, uh, you need a few extra things, of course, to get Mark III belts, and we don't have those at the moment. And trying to squeeze them into the mall 
um, in terms of having stuff on belts and everything just isn't really viable at this time. So what we do is we leave the space for it now so as we can have it in a little later. And uh, so that is why we have this open space running down the center. Now, as for the top half, uh, I'm not going to plug most of these in at the moment, but I do want to plug one of them in. That's why I'm bringing you back now. Um, we need to have uh, some generators uh, because we're going to run low on power here really, really soon. So we got to have uh, the generator of the things. And uh, so that's got to come in. Uh, that's got to come in, and you've got to put that out into a box, mister, and you're also going to need some gears, and you're going to need some rings. So at least now we can get some uh, thermal generators coming in here, uh, so as I can have those. Now, um, actually, a lot of the stuff is caught up pretty good, but I'm still going to leave it. Uh, I have to add this as a steel. Now, we need this as steel because these boxes here take steel, so these are large boxes. Um, I may actually convert them back down to small boxes at some point in time. Sometimes I use large boxes, sometimes I don't. Uh, but that steel right there uh, just takes care of that need right away. Then, of course, down here is the other item I want to talk about. And this is where I call the transition, the belt transition layer. So. You only need gears up to a certain point, and you only need um, magnetic coils up to a certain point. Then it switches. Now you still need your, uh, your iron plate, your stone, and your circuitry, but this is the transition point to where we now actually are not going to need, uh, we're not going to need these gears past this point. What we need is glass. So a lot of this take, all these items here take glass. Uh, and they don't use gears at all. So we take out the gear equation and add this belt coming in, which we are going to go grab our glass here momentarily. From this point forward though, you actually don't need any magnetic coils anymore. Now what you need are these, uh, these plasma exciters. The thing is, the plasma exciter itself does take coils, so you need, um, for the three blocks that you would have here, and I'm gonna bring this up. So your first block is going to be the coil, then you skip a space, and then the output is going to be the exciter, which is going to take the replacement of coils. So basically, plasma exciters replaces coils on this second strip. And this is where the transition happens, is right here. Uh, and we can actually take care of that now as well. Um, just to kind of get them exciters up and running, uh, we need uh, the triangles and the coils. Right, uh, so you're going to need that, but the triangles need to be head, and they just need glass. So, uh, once again, uh, glass is why we got to get that up here. And then, of course, them triangles are going to put in right into that. You'll notice I am not stocking triangles or exciters. No need. They're not. It's not required. Um, you just don't use enough of them, except for in the building of these types of components. So it's not like a, a material like like iron ore or anything like that. Now, what we want to do, of course, uh, is take Mr. Solar Panel out because I just put him there for fun. Uh, we need this glass to come up here, and uh, so we're going to take this and we're going to come down here and. He's going to swing up this way and then come up over this. There we go. Whoa, whoa. There you go, big guy. I uh, know. Uh, actually, I need him to make this turn one more earlier, I guess. Um, yep. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. Everybody can just back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Uh, yep. Yeah, we're going to stop there. Now you can come on up. Yeah, everybody can come on up and come right on down. Be the next contestant. There you go. Um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll click that there just to let the robots do a thing because, of course, uh, I think I have four robots now. Yes, I do. I have four robots, um, 
but you know, we are still kind of running a, a little bit slow here, right? Uh, if it wasn't for the speed mod, uh, you know, these things would be a little bit, uh, a little bit slow. Uh, and now we actually want to click that there, and we're gonna bring that uh, right there, and then bring them down into the top. And that should now take care of that. We'll watch uh, the uh, glass come in here and the first exciters come out, and then we'll do the cutaway uh, as I do a little more prep work. Uh, and then bring it back, we'll plug the rest of this in, and then we'll actually get to see the rest of this being made. Okay, so with a little bit of power stability and a little bit of red science up and running again, uh, we're actually gonna add a few, uh, a few science items, since I have the time, uh, to the equation. Uh, we need hydrogen, and the hydrogen we only need so we can get thrusters. And we need thrusters because, of course, we need to also get vertical construction so as we can get planetary logistics systems up and running. Now, of course, our focus for planetary logistics systems is to just avoid all the belt spaghetti, right? Because, it's I mean, it's happening already. I mean, it is already happening, right? Um, that is, that's, that's all part of the equation. Uh, the other thing, of course, that we have done is uh, that I had to take care of while uh, letting a few things build up was uh, power consumption. Uh, of course, our power consumption had been going up greatly, and of course, one of the things we added to the mall just before I did the cutaway was uh, the ability to add thermal power plants. And of course, as you can see, uh, we now have more thermal power plants in place and the ability to actually produce more power. So we're producing around 50. We're only using between 13 and 18. Uh, this should allow us to now move, uh, get building uh, here shortly to move these, this temporary uh, science setup to a more permanent science setup and uh, make sure that we can actually get some more science done. Um, the goal here, again, uh, just like with the last uh, series I did, uh, will be around 200 uh, science a minute. Now, uh, that, that, that particular goal is probably not the biggest uh, or the baddest or the craziest setups or anything like that um, but that's that's not the goal of this series uh, we got a lot of time to play with and so it's not like I need 2,000 science a minute it accomplishes nothing for me and <laughs> you know um, after a while the only thing you're really doing with science is the repetitive stuff anyway so that's what it's going to do it's just going to do the repetitive stuff uh, and handle that. So now let's get actually uh, into uh, doing some of these. I'm actually gonna switch this one over to the small boxes. Um, I really don't need the large boxes right now. Uh, so we'll just switch that over to the small boxes because yeah, I think that's better. Uh, so we're gonna take one, we're gonna take two, and then we're gonna shove out three, and then we're gonna limit that to a stack and then that will take care of that. Now, our friendly neighborhood splitters here. Of course, we're gonna need uh, one of these. And uh, we need a little bit of circuit board and a little bit of gear. So a gear and a circuit board and you can put yourself into a box. And again, we'll, uh, let's limit that to two. Uh, that we of course have already uh, we hooked this up before so we're good to go there and now of course we want to get uh, these power poles in now I'm going to show you a nifty trick okay um, there's no rule saying you can't hook in all the things okay so I can hook in all these lines all right we'll come to this side right you in hook you in and then put this into a box so I hooked in all five items okay but you're thinking well wait a minute this thing only uses two items <laughs> why would you do that max because I can change this whenever I want to something else now so let's say for example I'm looking oh oh no I need uh, I need a thing I need uh, do, do, do do let's say I need these all of a sudden right I need some mining machines no problem right because I've got all the hookups in um, I can swap these machines around 
to do whatever it is I need. So now it's actually making <laughs> it's actually making mining machines, which actually this box I need to make mining machines and not power poles because I already have a power pole uh, maker down there. So one of the things you can do with uh, with this uh, setup is you can add all five uh, sorters into the box and then just swap the box around to something if else you need it. Uh, you know, again, how many how many things do you need, right? Um, for example, let's say you make, uh, you know, you make, you know, 400 storage, little storage boxes, and you may never use them again. Well, now I can turn this one into, into the big storage boxes, right? Um, the only difference is, is that it needs steel. So we'll just uh, swap this up over here and then hook this steel in. Now, is it going to use that steel right away? Nope. It, it has no call for steel in here, so it's not going to pull it right away. But if I switch this from small boxes to large boxes, then all of a sudden, there's a call for steel. It's right there. No problem. Uh, so that's one of them nifty little tricks uh, that you can do with this kind of uh, this kind of mall is that you can just add all five lines in an, an output to a box and then just swap these as you see fit. Uh, I do it all <laughs> again. I do this ty type of stuff all the time. It's like, yeah, well, you know what? I need it. I need a whole bunch of miners now, right? So I don't. I don't need them power poles anymore. So we can actually uh, back that off, and we'll let them do a thing. Now we're into the glassware. <laughs> we're in the glassware items. Uh, so in this particular case, uh, we need. Uh, a little bit of this, and a little bit of glass, and a little bit of green circuitry, and a little bit of them coils. And I don't usually put these into a box. I think it stores four or six at a time anyway, um, which is fine. I only need, I think, you know, I, I, until you get into like the, the, the white science and building a crazy lab setup. Um, it, it, I mean, even red science is only going to take 20 um, for 200. You only need 10 for the blue science for 200. So that, I, I usually don't set up a box for those right away, and we'll just leave them in that. Uh, of course, we got our triangle set up because, of course, we got our exciters set up. And sure enough, the exciters came out onto the line, and they're pretty happy. Uh, I'm going to skip. Uh, I'm going to skip this machine for now. Don't really need the uh, the liquid this liquid here uh, but we are going to need some of these uh, so of course uh, this here is going to be um, the uh, the extract oil extractors and this is the oil refinery so the extractors uh, we're going to slam a few of these in here and do that and do that uh, now uh, they are going to need uh, a little bit of Stone um, and a plasma exciter, which I've already got hooked in, and circuits. Now, again, I don't usually put these into a box because unless I'm going to, uh, you know, go to a planet that has like 50 ports, uh, chances are you're, you're not going to use that many oil extractors. Now, oil refineries is a totally different thing. I use... Well, some of my builds have used over a thousand <laughs> refineries. Uh, so yes, uh, that, 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 this is one thing that is slightly different. I use lots of oil refineries, so of course they will get more. Uh, again, we want a little bit of stone. Um, we got the exciters. Uh, we need, we got the steel and we need, uh, we need this. And then I need that to go into a box. And this box for now will only hold two stacks of 20, I think it is. So that's perfectly fine. Yeah, so how many are you doing? Uh, you got nothing. Uh, that's because you haven't got your steel yet. And that's because I put that on the wrong side, Max. Good job. Good job. Okay, so um, plug you in. Nope, wrong one again. Man, you, you, you did it twice. Uh, put it into the right one. There you go. That's what it's looking for. There it is. There it is. So now it can actually start moving a little steel over, I hope. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, that's one. 
That's two. Uh, here, we'll even help you out a little bit here by giving you a... S Stop doing that. Uh, we'll give you a second, uh, a second sorter there just to kind of speed up the process a little bit. You can pull in that, that iron a little faster and you're making that a little faster. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, so of course we're going to pump that in a little bit. And uh, these things are not fast to make anyway, so they're going to take a little time. Uh, in fact, we probably could hook this in as well uh, to kind of wrap this episode up. And uh, let's see, you're going to need a little bit of steel. Yeah, see, I don't want to really steal that. I don't want to... I don't want to steal the steel right now uh, because the refiners, refineries are more important to me than, than this is. So uh, the rest of it I'll hook in though. Um, let's get that glass in there. Uh, we'll get the green circuit boards in there and we'll get the uh, stone in there. Uh, so at least we'll get the three items in there. And then, now I could have easily, uh, you'll notice that I'm one, one short on this line. I could have put another uh, steel uh, foundry in here and push this all down by one and I might later depending on you know mood stuff right uh, but at the same time once this is usually all stocked up you don't usually need any more than one so with the mall now completely built we got science up and running uh, of course soon what we'll be doing is getting in uh, to moving our temporary blue and red science into some real blue and red science uh, which of course is uh, much more happening. Uh, let's uh, click, kick, kick gas in here a little bit. Uh, I'm assuming I'm going to put that over here. If you look at the uh, planet icon, we're going to bring this up here in a second and uh, pause that down. We got a large landmass, a, a really nice landmass here. This I must admit, this is this one has worked out a little better than my last planet. Uh, we got a nice landmass here to really start covering into the sciences. Uh, so, of course, the first thing that we're going to want to set up here is all the, uh, all the smelting for them sciences. So your basic smelting of, um, you know, the iron and copper and stuff. And this planet is really, really short on copper. There are only three, um, four. There are four major veins of copper. Three here at the top one down here at the bottom and then there's like these two little rinky dink ones one of them i'm actually using right now which is over here which has forty-four thousand in it uh that's what's running this whole this whole assembly over here uh and i think there's like a, a seventy-six thousand one kicking around on the other side of the planet somewhere so there's really only four major veins of copper uh, so we're going to have to be a little careful and cautious about that. And that's why planetary logistics would come in really handy because this is all at the very top and bottom of this planet. Uh, so with that, uh, what are we doing on the next one? Uh, the next one will probably be the live stream. And of course, um, when we get to that, uh, that is where we're going to be doing... Um, uh, the rebuild of the sciences and the things. Uh, I will probably be putting in the just the uh, the, the strips of uh, of smelters. Again, nothing too exciting to look at there. Uh, but once the smelters are all in, of course, then we can start getting some real circuitry up and running. We can get some real. Um, you know, real oil up and running because that's the really big thing for red science is all the oil that you got to get set up. I'm Max. This, of course, is Dyson Sphere Program Destiny, where we're going for all those achievements. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.